Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm gonna to be talking about a brand new launch. Now, Chanel have been smashing it out of the park recently. This is something very, very special. I've not paid this much for a lipstick. Now, Hermes is probably the top end of what I've paid, which is probably around, I think it's about 66 pounds or 68 pounds. And this one is probably one of the most expensive lipsticks I've ever bought. I decided to purchase this because I'm a collector number one, but also because it has a lot of history and it has a lot of links to Gabrielle Coco Chanel. It is linked to her apartment, her inspiration, and it's one of her new 31 lipsticks. There's 12 lipsticks in total. I went to the store, I tried on all 12. I'll insert some photographs of how they looked on me. but I ended up picking, and it was a bit of a shock, number four. And I'll explain sort of how it works. So there are different inspirations that have been taken for this collection. And one of the things I was able to do was have an appointment at Chanel where I was able to look through their book. And in their book, there were little inserts as to how each lipstick had been inspired, how the color was inspired. This one was inspired by some fabric. I also looked at the one that was inspired by the inner lining of a Chanel flat and I did really like that colour and I was thinking of picking that up for the autumn, winter, but I thought for now and for my first purchase I wanted more like a reddish colour. I originally had my eye on Rouge Premiere but when I went into store this one was the one that we kept going back to and going this is the better colour, this is the better colour. So I wanted to show you what I picked up. This has some amazing ingredients which I will go through with you and I wanted to put this on for you but I also wanted to talk to you about my opinion and whether I think it's worth the amount that they're charging. There is another lipstick that has just been launched by Dior and I know that that one is a ceramic container. It's around like £500. I don't know whether that's something I'm going to get purely for one lipstick. For this one you can refill this so the refills cost around £90 but the actual lip itself which I bought with the lipstick it was 140 pounds this includes the case as well I'll show you what I've got there is the lipstick itself and then there is a case that comes with it now the lipstick is in a glass container I was told that it would not smash on the floor which I was really worried about you know sometimes I have accidentally dropped things and to know that it could smash on the floor would make me cry so I just wanted to let you know that apparently it's smash proof so that's what I was told. So I've got the 31 La Rouge and it's the color Rouge Flu in number four. You get 3.3 grams of product. So it comes in the Chanel case. You lift it up, be very careful because I just dropped it just now. That's what the case looks like and it is a really lovely case. It's quite solid. It's a collector's item. It's not your usual Chanel packaging. You open it up and this is the colour and my god it is stunning. This is the shade that I got. You've got the case here. As you move it up and down, what's lovely is you can see the colour through the top. It's such a gorgeous shade. So I will put this on shortly with you. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like up close. So let's take a look. So you can see the detailing behind the case. This does feel substantial. It feels heavy. And then you've got the lipstick and then you've got the Chanel written across the top of the lipstick. It's really something to behold. So beautiful. And it sort of has like a magnet that locks in like so. So this is the other case and you open it up, there is a pouch that comes with it. So you lift it up and then you take out the inner part and this is like a carry case I believe to protect it. So if I show you how it looks, so you take the lipstick like so, put it in there and then 
lock it in. You get a case to go with it as well to protect it, which is really, really nice. I will read you a little bit about this now and then we will apply it together. It says, Object of Creation 31 La Rouge comes in a faceted square case inspired by the mirrors that line the legendary Art Deco staircase at 31 Rue Gambon. Combining glass and metal, the light dances on its surface. Its clear glass allows the metallic gleam of the case and shade of the lipstick to shine through beneath the engraved Chanel monogram. A true technical feat that can only be accomplished by drawing on Chanel expertise in high perfumery. And there's pictures of Gabrielle Coco Chanel's staircase and you can see that's where the inspiration comes from. It's the 12 unique shades of 31 La Rouge are vibrant reflections of Rue Gambon's creative spirit. 31 La Rouge is both a lipstick and a firming, smoothing, moisturising lip care product. Its formula was carefully developed by the house's laboratory and is enriched with gardenia oil from Gorgeac, a Chanel exclusive ingredient as well as maracuja oil. And a lot of people said that after a month of use, the more you wore it, it helped increase the moisturisation in your lips. It appeared smoother, it appeared firmer, and it appeared more defined. I have to admit, when I tried these, I was really sceptical because I've never paid this much for a lipstick before. So I was like, does this actually deliver? What's so special about it? So when I put it on, and then I tried all the 12 different shades, I noticed that my lips weren't sore afterwards. Each time I tried it, my lips were still smooth and they still felt moisturised. I'm very, very excited to show you how this colour looks. So this is the lipstick. The case is absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Substantial, weighty, very inspiring, beautiful. Let's just do a quick hand swatch. Oh my God, isn't that just a gorgeous shade? So let's try this on together. Can you see why I picked this colour now? It's so, so pretty. I'm in love. It has a lovely fragrance as well. It's not strong, but when you put it on, it does dissipate, but it's so lovely. And it feels very luxurious and creamy as you put it on. And it feels like your lips are getting like butter put on them. It's really hard to describe. So lovely. Everybody has an opinion on luxury beauty. Some people say, I don't want to spend so much on a lipstick. I can go to a drugstore, I can get a good lipstick for that amount. I totally get that. And I am one of those people that I used to feel the same way. I used to feel like, why would I spend so much money on a lipstick? There is something about this formula that makes it feel so luxurious. I feel like they've really researched into this lip. It's not like all the other lipsticks that I've tried, and I've tried a lot of lipsticks, as you know. It feels very special. It feels like there's a lot of history around this collection, but also the colours are all thought out very, very carefully. The shades all relate to Gabrielle Coco Chanel. They all relate to the history of Chanel, the house of Chanel. You almost feel like you're buying a piece of history 
and I think if you're a makeup lover, a luxury beauty makeup lover, you are going to love this. I think if you feel like, wow, I could get this shade in a, your local drugstore, that's your call. That is something that is in your budget. I totally understand. But for people who would like to spend more money on something that's been researched and looked into and tried and tested and want to do it just for a collector's piece, I'd highly recommend this. I really, really would. I didn't think I would purchase this, but as soon as I walked into the store, I thought, oh, I'll just try on a couple of shades. Maybe at some point I'll pick one up. But as soon as I tried it, I was in love with the formula immediately. I tried on another shade which is the number 12 they'll be releasing a limited edition case that has the lipstick it has a case and then it has two refills and i think it's gonna be around 400 or so pounds and i really really want to get that because there was three other shades i really liked and they're all gonna fit in that box but the one i fell in love with number 12 is so beautiful when i put it on i remember walking out the store and feeling amazing and i was getting looks like people were looking at my lips and I could see it was just like popping and it was a really beautiful shade. It's a beautiful autumn winter shade. So I thought I would get that in the next coming months. But for now, this is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. I think it will create a lot of talk as to should I buy it? Is it worth it? My birthday literally was last week. So I wanted to treat myself and get myself this. Everyone is different and everyone has a budget and their means. And as you know, my beauty channel is mainly luxury beauty and that's what I do. I hope that this has helped you if you decide you want to pick this up. I haven't picked up any more colours yet although I've tried all 12 shades and I know which colours I like and the ones I want to pick up. I think at least four shades I liked out of the 12 and this is one of them. So I've got another three that are on my wish list. They are just beautiful. Please let me know your thoughts. My conclusion is yes, it is worth it but that's my opinion. It's up to you to go into store to try it. Let me know your thoughts. Is it worth it? Do you think it's worth it? It's gonna create a lot of debate, but that's always a good thing. I'd love to know. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.